It's the Pacific Northwest Geek here, Echo Zero, here with a review of a Wild Eye releasing um, video. Um, apparently, yeah, there's this thing called Wild Eye Week, and I'm going to be trying to give it a go, but oh boy, did I choose one to start off with. I have chosen the 2015 movie Jurassic Prey, which even though the movie is called Jurassic Prey, when you look up on Tubi, it's called Jurassic Prey. The opening credits, it's called Jurassic Prey. In the closing credits, it's called Meat Eater. Meat Eater or Meat Eaters. I'm not entirely sure. This movie was uh, it's a wide eye movie. Um, also a ba Paulino, ba Paulino, Paulina Brothers video. A movie. It's, uh, just whatever. Um, Mark and John uh, Paulina. But I guess John died, um, 2009, I think was what I was reading. But it, his brother is the director of this film. He's also the director and writer of Amityville in Space. At least that's what, according to INDB. It stars Daniela, Daniela, um, Donahue, Donahue, who was also in Amityville Island. Uh, I got my little notes here. Ken... Van Sna Sant, who was in Virus Shark, which I started to watch a little bit of the other, other day, just couldn't really get into it. And Jeff Kirkendall, who was in Nora Shark, which is... This might be a little better than Nora Shark. But basically, the story is, you have these characters. Um, you have this woman, um, played by uh, Don uh, Danielle Donahue, who I guess she's with some kind of big gangster type guy and decides to get away, take something from his lock, safety, safety deposit box or whatever, and just, just get away from him and go be with her boyfriend, uh, Beach, played by Kevin Van Sant. At the same time, there is these uh, four uh, three guys who go to rob a bank. One of them apparently was an actor on some show called Captain Crack. Who's played by um, Jeff Kirkendale. And at the same time this is also going on. There's these two police officers who are looking for these guys. And the opening scene of the movie has these two guys going to go to some old theater. Where there's some complaint. Where they find some guy walking around with a, a, a saw. He's supposed to be butt naked. But you don't really see anything below the waist other than his feet. Which he has some of the nastiest looking nails, uh, toenails out there. Um, and some guy who's locked up, after they kill him, they find another guy who's locked up inside this uh, cabinet. And he's bucking and growling like a dog. That part right there should have been a warning what I was in store for. Because then you get to the dinosaur. Oh, You don't see much of, um, let me... Sharks at first of this dinosaur. You get to see its feet, which is for some reason, its knees are bent backwards. It's got swollen ankles, big, fat, juicy feet that it's like, where are the toenails? I mean, where are the toes? It's, oh, this head. And it, oh, God, this is this. It kills people to get CGI blood and CGI blood. Why? Why CGI blood? I am starting to realize I hate CGI blood. It is becoming a pet peeve of mine. Oh, no, stop with the CGI blood. Anyways, through circumstances, uh, this woman uh, played by Danielle Dare, uh, Danahue, Danahue, she's going to get the stuff from the safety deposit box. At the same time, these other guys with a uh, Jeff Kirkendale end up robbing at the same time. They car the car dies, so they take her hostage, and they end up at this cabin where Beach is played by uh, Ken Van Sant, who gets killed by this dinosaur, and um, they soon find themselves being stalked through the last ten minutes or so by this. That is sore, and this movie is about an hour and 11, so about an hour, yeah, about an hour and 11 minutes long, and this is until the last 10, 15, 
second of minutes of the movie that you find them dealing with this dinosaur, which you like again. Your first is just a little bit of the head, its mouth, CGI blood. Again, the CGI blood. I'm really not you know. That's what I think about CGI blood. Um, and you get a quick glimpse of this creature. Real good glimpse of this creature. It's like blink if you miss it. I have nothing against stop motion animation and superimposing things. That is a way they used to do a lot of old monster movies, like dinosaur movies. Um, was it Ray Harryhausen or whoever it was? You know, where they would do the, uh, the, the, the skeletons, a lot of stop motion, and then superimposing to make it look like they're on the scene with the, uh, the screen with the act of fighting. No, no issue with it. In fact, it's kind of cool to see it because it is something that used to be done. We don't really see that anymore. You see it here, and it's terrible looking. Okay, because most of the time when the creatures attack it, it's like at an angle, so it gives you an idea. Because it's a pre of view uh, um, shot from the eye, from the view of the creature. So it looks good. Kind of like that. But you see the reactions to see this large creature supposed to be coming at it. But they see, but these, especially turn in the last five minutes, you get a lot of these stop motion images, scenes. That's just, oh, and I know this is probably not the best review. It might be my worst review ever, but my mind is blown because they took something I enjoy, different things I enjoy and respect. Dinosaurs, no matter how old you are, are cool. Period. I don't care what anyone says. Dinosaurs are awesome. Okay? Hey, man, I'm 43 years old and I still love dinosaurs. There's a reason why I love Jurassic Park. Because th that looks good. Even Connoisseur did better than this. But this looked terrible and the whole stop motion thing is something else I'm a fan of. Especially when I watch some of these older movies. I really enjoy it. This looked really bad, especially when you can look at the feet and it's really not blending in with the stuff. Oh, when this one guy's supposed to give his arm bit, it looks really terrible. Duh. I don't want to be in a, 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 a Johnny Poopy Pants right now, but it just really... But that's one down. Let's see if I can do it six more times without losing my sanity. Now, I'm going to go see if I can find a, a movie right now that kind of just, just erases this from my memory. Would I suggest it? After it managed to shit on two things I like? No. No, I want it. Dinosaurs in the top motion. I like this movie. I didn't. Anyways, one down. Let's see if I can do six more. Look, look, I can't even count. Anyways, I'm Michael Kier, and I will see you on the flip side. Kiddaloo.